Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will explore how UA path generative AI activities connector and its activities can help in leveraging powerful LLMs from various third party providers. So firstly, what is it? So UA path generative AI activities with these you can easily integrate AI capabilities into your automation workflows that too without having to manage any complex subscriptions. This connector gives you access to UiPath's AI trust layer, which provides optimized prompt based activities that work seamlessly with the most popular LLMs. Now let's see how it works. You have to install a connector. You have to install UiPath Generative AI Activities Connector, which will give you the Generative AI Activities package. And within that package, you'll have a drag and drop activities, which we'll see in demo. So these activities will directly interact with UiPath's internal AI services. And these UiPath internal AI services will handle all the normalization and then transformation requests. And from here, it will be sent to model providers, for example, OpenAI. What does this mean? So here you don't have to worry about any direct connections or subscriptions to external uh, model providers. UA path will take care of that for you. However, it's important to note that while you don't need a subscription to external providers, third party services, you will need to purchase AI units, which will be provided by UA path. You need to purchase AI units from UA path in order to use this generative AI activities package. These AI units are consumed during both design time and runtime executions of the activities. So if you don't know what what AI units are and what does that mean? I've uh, made a separate series for AI Center. You can go check in my channel. And at the end, uh, since you have used activity, uh, the result will be given back within that activity itself, which you can use that in UiPath Studio or Studio Web. You can also use in UiPath apps. And why do we have to use Generative AI Activities package? Like as we already know, we have OpenAI and then Microsoft uh, Azure AI, many services which you can connect from UiPath. And what is the main difference between that open AI activities and then these generative AI activities? So the main difference will be, so there we have to connect to those uh, open AI or Microsoft Azure, any any third party vendors, you have, you have to maintain the subscriptions and then you have to take care of these licenses. So those will be completely avoided. So no subscription is required for any of these external providers. And then second one, quality will be optimized. And then uh, one more point, uh, here you, you'll get a direct activity. For example, if you have to prompt something, here we'll have direct activities to summarize the text or to translate an email or translate text or to generate content. So for all these act for all these uh, tasks, we'll have direct activities. You can directly drag and drop in UiPath Studio and then you can use it. So let's see how do we do that. So go to UiPath Orchestrator. Then firstly, we have to install that connector, right? So go to integration services. And here search for UiPath Gen AI. And then you will see a connector. Click on it. Then connect to UiPath Gen AI activities. For now, it is free. Click on connect. So now we installed UiPath Generative AI activities connector. Now let's go to UiPath Studio. this then make a new process name it so i'm using uipath 24 2024.10.10 So once all the dependencies got initialized, just go to manage packet packages or search for your path integration services. Then install it. 
so we install a connector right so those connector in connector related activities will be stored in these activities so we have to install this package and now here if you go to generate a package Path generator activities. So let's take content generation. By default, it took the email ID that used uh, for cloud orchestrator login. So that is this, and then model name. So we have these four models for now. So I'm keeping GPT-4. Then here you'll give the prompt. I'm keeping what is RPA. Then PIA detection. So if you if you're going to add some personal information in the prompt then you can keep true and then that personal information will be handled properly so for now i don't have any personal information so i'm keeping it false then click on properties so we've given the prompt and then we have to take the output from the model right so for that you can create a variable for content generation and mark it as generated text so I, i'm creating a variable so that content generated content will be stored in this generated text variable let's take a log message and then print no let's run the bot So now, if you see it directly uh, mentioned the bundle name of when, when we directly used this uh, variable. So let's see the type. So if you see the type, it's not a string type. It is integration services dot activities dot SW entities. So uh, so within these, so just click on dot and then you'll see all the possible methods. So what do we need from that? We need text. So let's keep on text and let's run again. So now you can see the output of that prompt. So it, it just um it just how uh, we give what is RPA in chat GPT, it just, just took the prompt and then gave the output. So that's what content generation do. And then similar way you'll have other activities called generating an email. So for example, if you have to summarize an email content, you can directly use summarize text. Let's track it. So by default, it selects the connection. Let's choose uh, GPT-4 just like we did before. Then text to summarize. Um, so in the previous activity, we uh, we are prompting, I mean, we're giving the prompt as what is RP, right? So that will be stored in a variable called generated text. So it gives a big paragraph as an output. Let's summarize that. Text to summarize will be generated text dot text and uh, detect language i don't want to detect language i just directly want the output to be in english keeping it english then this output i want to store in short text take the log message print that out short um, out short text clicking on save and then let's debug and see the output This was the huge paragraph that we got from ge content generation activity, which is this one. Then we sent that output to summarize text. Then we can see the short text here.
so this can be one of your use case so if you receive emails with a lot of content then if you want to quickly summarize that and then send it to users so you can directly use that you summarize text and then you can shorten the paragraph and then you can send it to the users likewise you can try other activities as well that are mentioned under generative ai so if you want to translate the summarized text to hindi or any other native language then you can directly use translate and then give this output you can play with these activities that's all for today that's all for today i'll see you in the next video until then happy automation